is it too late to get into sphere finance hey guys this is dumb crypto here and in this channel we try to dumb everything down to make it easy for you guys to understand so sphere finance has been the hottest thing right now and i'm debating whether to get into sphere finance or titano because titano recently had a dip so i'm weighing between these two projects as you can see from the the graph um sphere finance is killing it and one thing i like about sphere finance is that in just such a short period of time they've grown their market cap to be larger than titano it's almost about um if you take a look it's, it's almost about 40 million larger than titano and if you compare it to seifu it's almost a hundred million larger than seifu so just because of the momentum um i'm quite interested in this project because as you guys know a lot of this project they they go by um, the momentum and the following and if the momentum and following is strong the project would be more sustainable and um, have a longer run time this is not going to guarantee that the project is a sure win but it's going to guarantee that you are able to pull out your profits in time before before the project crashes or the price drops so my plan is that i'm currently waiting for a little bit of pullback on sphere before i enter because of the buy and sell tax i think um, if you guys are going to buy it, you should try to time the entering as well and not buy into the formal because this buy and sell tax is going to be brutal if the if the price drops and you have to pay the tax as well. It's going to um, erode your capital quite fast. So so while Sphere Finance has a lower APY than Titano, um, I'm still leaning towards um, Sphere Finance because Sphere Finance is doing something unique and different compared to Titano and Seifu is that they are trying a more proactive approach in using um, their funds and liquidity in putting it in safe and trusted investment instead of um, relying on organic growth as well. So how Sphere Finance is growing is that um, first they are doing it the normal way where they rely on um, the buying and the selling to create um, funds in into their liquidity and secondly they are using that liquidity pool and putting in safe and trusted investment so that they can grow the project as well instead of just relying on uh, the organic growth so that is something very different and unique about sphere finance and if you take a look you can see that the website is also very nice looking and it's not just a cop out or a copy of the the other websites and i think that is also quite a good sign because from my experience, normally the ones that just are a carbon copy of um, the other um, hot projects, they usually fail quite fast. So I think the the look and the feel of the website has a quite a solid feel to it. The look of the website is quite nice and I really like it. It gives me quite a solid feel about it. And I think it's a good sign that they, they actually put effort and time into um, designing something on their own and having a uh, interface that is very clean and nice and different from their competitors so next we want to look at how they are doing in the marketing front because the stronger they market they can push more uh, buyers and support to the project and it will drive the price up so if you if you take a look at their their twitter you can see that they've been mentioning a lot of um, support and um, partners that they're working with like for example, you can see that um, Sphere Finance is um, partnered with um, Dystopia and Penrose DeFi. So do I feel that it's too late to enter into Sphere Finance? I don't think so, but I'm still waiting for a slight pullback before I enter into the project. And if you see it, and if you scroll down, if you see it, they are also partnering with um, K2. So I would say that on the on their Twitter page, it looks like they are partnering with a lot of people, and it's a good sign that. Um, the project is getting a lot of uh, momentum and support so that's why i'm quite bullish on um, sphere finance i'm seriously considering to enter the project but i'm waiting for a slight pullback first so overall i think sphere finance is killing it they got a solid looking website they got a strong marketing team and then they are not just the generic or uh, 100,000 apy and just sit back and collect the money they are doing something proactive and using the, the funds to do safe investment and grow the funds in a proactive way. So they also have a lottery system similar to um, Titano Play, but I think they are going to learn mistakes from Titano Play and, and not get exploited by them. 
you can see that their drip, drip rewards are temporarily disabled. And I think that's quite a good sign because it shows that the, the system is um, having so much transaction that they cannot process it so that they're trying to stop it temporarily and fix it. And then you can see that they have actually updated the, the interface for these Sphere games. It used to be on a separate website. I kind of hate the other projects where they always have a function or another utility and you click it and they bounce you to another website. And I think Sphere Finance, they integrate it quite nicely into their system onto their main website. So how these Sphere games work is that you're going to have to stake your um, sphere tokens and and they're gonna have 10 winners on each drawing and you'll probably get like a percentage of the price pool and while your sphere tokens is staked here they, they are going to compensate you with um, the drip rewards and while this drip rewards is um, disabled right now I think they're gonna get back I think they're gonna get that back up soon it looks like this um, sphere games is quite popular because I think the the large amount of uh, transactions going through these games is um, slowing the network down. So it's giving a lot of congestion to the network. So they have to disable it. And, but I think one thing you have to note is that these Spear games, there's a cascading tax where if you're going to redraw it out on the first day, it's going to charge you 30% and then it slowly declines from the first day, maybe to 28, then 28% on the second day and then 25%. So it's going to slowly cascade down all the way to 0% on the 14th day. So if you're going to play these Sphere games, you have to take note that there's like this 14-day period where if you redraw out, you're going to get tax on it. So as you can see, like Sphere just reached like the 10 cent mark. And I think that's quite a bullish sign. If they can maintain this 10 cent mark for a while, um, they could probably push even higher. So overall, I think I'm, I'm quite leaning towards um, going to Sphere Finance instead of um, Titano because... Um, I like this ecosystem a lot. And you can see that they actually also have a transfer tax where um, they, this transfer tax is prevent the whales from transferring uh, the tokens to uh, other wallets and spreading it out to game the system to get a lower sell, sell tax. Because, if, because um, for whales, if they're going to sell a larger percentage of the market cap, they're going to get tax higher, I think up, all the way up to like 70% or something something ridiculously high. So to prevent the whales from gaming the system, they got a transfer tax to stop them from spreading the tokens to multiple um, wallets. So you can see that Spear Finance really punishes people uh, from leaving the project and even buying into the project because I think they want to uh, hold people into the project to make it a long-term investment and to allow people to, to enter the project safely without the having this mindset that, hey, uh, when is everyone going to pull out? When is the whales going to crash this whole system? So they really punish us and try to incentivize keeping people in the system. So I think that's a strong sign that they are learning from all the mistakes from all the other projects like Wonderland, Titano. So that's why I'm super bullish on this project. So when the right time comes, when there's a slight dip, I will buy into the project and I, I will make a video on it and, and show you guys uh, how much I've invested and my financial journey from there. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below uh, which one you guys think is a better option, um, Titano or Sphere Finance.